Hey everyone, welcome to Booster Tutor, I'm Brandon, and today we're starting our 12 days of crack a pack -mas. That is, I open a pack every day till Christmas, then at the end we give it all the way to one lucky winner. Now, I really love this because... Brandon! Boosty Monster, my old partner, what brings you around here? I have some very bad, not so good news for you. You will be visited by three ghosts. Uh, excuse me? That's right, one, two, three ghosts. All right, is this like a ghost of Christmas past, ghost of Christmas present, and ghost of Christmas future? No, 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 no. One ghost of magic past, one ghost of magic present, and one ghost of magic future. Uh, Boosty Monster, have you been in the unstable packs again? What? No. No, no, no. Yes, but that is besides the point. Boosty Monster, you little scamp. Get out of here. Uh, Boosty Monster? Yes? Leave the unstable pack. Oh, yeah. All right, so on the first day of crack a pack -mas, Boosty Monster gave to me a pack of Unstable. All right, see what we get. All right, let's see what our first pack is going to be to be given away. Once well, anyway, we know it's Unstable. Hoping for a foil land. That's about it. I don't know if there's anything really worth money in here. Let's go through this. Big Bow Constrictor. This is the Augmented Creature. So for four mana, it's a 1-2. Roll six high die to her. Opponent loses life equal to the result. All right. It that gets left hanging. Six mana for a 5-4. Uh, where's the battlefield? Ask the person for a high five. If he or she won't, it gets left hanging. Gain taste. Oh, weird. Okay. So six mana for a 5 for haste. Eh. <clears throat> Chipper Chopper. Three and a blue for a 1-1 one, one flying. When it enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice another artifact. If you do, put two 1-1 one, one counters on it, and it assembles a contraption. Contraptions were, you know, this, I think it's, here, let me see. No, nope, that's something else. Uh, if we get there, I'll show you. But it was just like a little side thing where during your upkeep, it would like, when you assembled or something, it would move. Something like that. I can't remember, really. It was interesting. Sometimes a little complicated, but fun. And this is a pretty good card, actually. So four mana for a 3-3 flyer that uh, helps you contraption, whatever. Assemble a contraption. Old guard, two mana for a 2-1 tap target creature without reminder text. Eh, I mean, if it's just tap target creature for that, awesome. Blurry Beeble, one mana for a 1-1. Blurry, this creature can't be blocked only if defender player has is wearing glasses as it is cast. So I think I was wearing, not wearing glasses once. Uh, and they played this. And this thing can do a lot of damage, actually, just because it's a 1-1 one, one that's unblockable. So, And whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. Like, that's really good. Multi-headed. The beginning of your, each end step, if you rolled a 6 high die this turn, then, I see. So at the beginning of your end step, if you rolled a die this turn, and then, like, say this is here, it'd be roll six side die, target opponent lose life equal to the result. So, you know, it'd be a five, six, and at the end of your turn, you roll six side die, and the opponent loses life. Not bad. Not great. It was a, it was a weird mechanic. I liked it, but it was weird. Uh, two and a white for a two, three. Makes out target non-horse creature you control. So it's basically a flicker effect for that one. Not bad. Secret base. Add colorless, add one map any color to your mana pool, spin this mana only to cast a spell that shares a water mark with secret base. So this was the, I don't know, umbrella and key. Forgot what they even were. Sneak? Okay, there you go, sneak. So if something else had sneak, it's like these have the castle, it looks like. And nothing there has sneak. Socketed sprocket, one mana for one one. Uninstall all results from socketed sprocket, then roll six side die, install the result on six side sprocket. Put that on this card. You may uninstall a result from socketed sprocket to use it for a die you rolled. Uninstall, do you know what? I'm really confused. I'm gonna skip that one. <laughs> Midlife upgrade. Three and a white as initial cost to cast multi or midlife upgrade, sacrifice X contraptions, a simple X plus one contraption. Eh, it's okay. 
Ninja, here you go. May activate Ninja's augmentation ability anytime you can cast an instant. When this creature deals combat damage to a player, so you would say it was that one, roll six high die, lose much life. Not bad. And cheap. I like that. The rare is Steam Flogger of the Month. Three uh, white, sorry, three a red red for a three three. Uh, when it's a battlefield, it assembles a contraption for each contraption you control. So, not bad. Let's see, do we have foil? Do we have foil? Nope, we got a mountain. And you got Thud for Duds. When you crank Thud for Duds, roll two six side dice. Thuds for Duds deals damage to target creature equal to the difference. Oh, Jesus Christ, come on. And then, oh, what's that? So this is, do you get two contraptions? I don't remember that. So here you go. Uh, start the game with a crank counter on sprocket three. At the beginning of your upkeep, so you'd move it each upkeep, if you control a contraption, move the crank counter to your next sprocket and crank any number of sprockets of that sprocket's contraption. So when you cast a contraption, you put on either sprocket one, two, or three, and then every time it landed on there during upkeep, you would do whatever it says. So this one, you would crank it to that, or this one. When we crank it until a turn, target creature gains. One of this deals coming down to show a player, draw a card, discard a card. So. And then a foil thopter. What is, why are there two? I didn't know there was two. All right, um, out of these. So when it enters the battlefield, it assembles a contraption for each contraption you control. So you got three contraptions. And I think it's assembling, uh, put the top card of your contraption deck face up. Oh, that's right. Contraptions are a completely separate deck too. Oh boy. I think what you want to do was take him and then just go the construction route or contraption route, because uh, you had to do that early just to get the best contraptions. Like, these ones aren't that great. Uh, but yeah, you probably take that. If not, I would take the Chipper Chopper. I like that card. That was a dumb card. Just, like, pretty basic. Also, also Nijitsu one. But I didn't really like the Augment all that much. It was okay. But i take Seam Plugger of the Month. All right, so there we go. First pack out of the way. Unstable. Weird set. Tons of fun to draft, though. Uh, not really any value, though, so. All right, there we go. Now, how do you enter? Easy. It's the holy trinity of YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment down below. That's it. Now you enter to win everything. Doesn't matter if you do on every video or just one video, you'll get entered. Don't worry. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Boots on Scar Tutor, and see you next draft. Hey, everyone, it's me, your ghost of magic past. Pass Brandon. Wow. This program brought to you by viewers like you.